Hey everyone, it's Jamie here and welcome to Travel Blog Jamie. We have boarded Morella Discovery for the American Dream itinerary. So this is a one week fly cruise sailing from Port Canaveral, Florida to Grand Bahama, then north to New York for two days, south to Charleston, South Carolina and back to Port Canaveral, Florida. Do you fancy coming along for a week? You do, don't you? Come with us, let's go. For all that, don't forget to give this a cheeky little like, subscribe and turn on notifications for my bi-weekly travel and cruise vlogs. You can also find me at Twitter, Instagram, Threads and Patreon at Travel Blog Jamie. Hey everyone, it's Jamie here. Look at me. I'm on a cruise. Very insightful. Thank you, Matthew. Yeah. I don't sound like that. And here we go with day one travel and embarkation day. Welcome to London Gatwick. We're traveling with two airlines on one of the Boeing 787 Dreamliners to Melbourne, Florida. full TUI flight experience and review, just search Travel Blog Jamie, London Gatwick to Melbourne, Florida. Uh, welcome to Melbourne, Florida. Just an afternoon shower, folks. We made it! <laughs> Um, first thing you'll do is collect your luggage. It took a long time today, I've got to be honest. Uh, and then you go through your customs. Quite a long line, uh, but pretty efficient. Anyway, we're here, that's the most important thing. We weren't able to actually download any luggage labels for this cruise that we're going on uh, for some reason. So we have been directed to this little stand to collect them. We don't even know what cabin we're in actually. There you go, looks like we are cabin 2012. That sounds low down. And our shuttle to the ship, I believe. And reading material for the coach journey. Alrighty, so the journey time from Melbourne Airport to uh, Port Canaveral is about 40 minutes. Uh, you can leave your luggage here as long as it's got labels and it will arrive at your cabin within two hours. Me, I'm taking mine with me. There's no doubt about it. I want my stuff now. Oh, now we are following the person with paddle probably to the cruise terminal and to check in. All right, so we've just done our check-in. Didn't take too long. Uh, we are heading to the ship with one of these fabulous paper copies of a boarding pass. I think we need to head straight to Muster to collect our cruise key card. Goodness, at last we made it. What a journey. There she is, Morella Discovery. Matthew's first time on board. With 11 decks and 918 cabins, Morella Discovery can hold 1,830 passengers. And here we go. Oh, he's on. Port Canaveral all aboard. 5.30, my God, it's 7 p.m. right now. Welcome, thank you. Thank you, Morella. Jesus, I'm tired. <laughs> there you go, we've zapped in and straight to muster. Well, I suppose that's quite efficient, actually. Straight in. Well, I'm watching, but I can barely hear it. Half deaf, aren't I? Now that's what I'm talking about. Tui Blue. Using the Wi-Fi on board for free, you can access the Tui Navigate app. This will allow you to access all the information about Morella Discovery, view restaurant and bar menus, as well as book excursions and speciality dining. Look how red my eyes are. <laughs> It's midnight at home now, I think. Eight, nine, ten. It's midnight at home now. I'm normally tucked up in bed by now. All right, and now we are going to head to our cabin and freshen up. I need to. I stink. We are portside and forward. Yeah, we got a cheap cabin. <laughs> oh, it's right here next to the staircase. Alrighty, I'll show you around our cabin a little bit later. Um, it's made up as a twin, didn't ask for that. It's um, an ocean view cabin, deck two, as I said, nice and low down. We should have some good sea views. Time to unpack right now. Whew. I'm feeling a lot better for that shower. Time to eat absolutely ravenous. Could eat a scabby horse and pony. All right, main dining room, 47 degrees. Oh, it's nice in here. You can tell this is ex-Royal Caribbean as well. I love it. French bread. French bread. <laughs> Thank you. Right, our first look at the main dining room menu. What to have? 
I like the sound of a lot of this, I must say. I might have to have several things here. All right, this is an all ink jobby on Morella. So the wine is flowing already. They don't need to look at your card. Cheers, everyone. For convenience, I'll be using this handy little food rating grid to review every dish on board. Vegetable consomme for me. And because I'm very greedy, the twice baked uh, cheese souffle. Haven't had to ask for a top up of the wine. It just keeps coming. That's the Morella way. Many alcoholic and soft drinks are already included in your cruise fare. However, if you'd like to sample all drinks on the menus, you can upgrade to the premium all-inclusive drinks package for £80 per person for the duration of your cruise. Drinks are clearly labelled on all menus as to whether they are all-inclusive or premium all-inclusive. If you have the all-inclusive package but would like to sample some drinks from the premium all-inclusive package, you'll notice that these drinks come with a surcharge. Most of the time, the extra is no more than two to three pounds. And here's a look at the soft drinks included in the all-inclusive package and the premium all-inclusive package. Be aware that hot drinks at the coffee port all fall under the premium drinks package. Matthew has the Cajun beef brisket with uh, whipped potatoes, pan jus. Uh, there are some Brussels and carrots as well. Now I've gone with something uh, quite different for me, actually. It's a root vegetable and ancient green loaf so um a, a vegan meatloaf i think it comes with um baked potato and tomato ketchup i oh, would love some pepper yeah thank you and very nice looking salad oh my goodness look who we are sailing by oasis of the sea so one of the things i love about desserts on morella is that they do sugar free yes Alrighty, key lime pie for Matthew. Let's hope it's better than the one P and O. And homemade apple pie with ice cream. And there you go. First dinner done. Jet lag is well and truly setting in. And we are out on prom deck to get a bit of fresh air as we sail out of Port Canaveral. Oh my God, there's a rocket launch. I can't believe I'm watching this. Holy sh! I'm literally like gonna cry. That's incredible. Remco Timmermans over on Twitter very kindly provided information about this rocket launch. This Falcon 9 rocket was carrying 22 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. Oh, oh my god! I didn't know this was bucket list stuff and it is. <laughs> I am totally in awe, folks. Wow. Oh, that was truly spectacular. Shivers down the spine moment, seriously. Well, we are not gonna have a late one tonight, folks. Matthew's case is now outside the cabin, so he needs to unpack. Um, and also, I need to go and find a water fountain and fill this carafe up. You never know when you're gonna need water through the night. So our cabin is there. We just head towards the lifts and staircase with our traveling carafe. And look, there's the water fountain, easy. Love this. Nice, cold, filtered water, lovely. There you go. Don't say I don't do anything for you, Matthew. All right, my loves, we are going to the Bahamas in the morning like you do. Um, it's been a long, long day, very tired now. Uh, I got overexcited watching an unexpected rocket launch. I nearly peed myself, so it's time for bed. I wish you all a fond farewell. I will see you in the morning. Look at these ones, look. Shh, sleeping. Good night. Love to you all. It's day two and time for the Bahamas. Morning, everybody. It's 5 a.m. Of course it is. We're on US time now. Doesn't matter what time we go to bed when we come over here. Um, we always wake up at 5 a.m. That's fine though, we've got an early start today. Matthew's been a good boy, he's made me a coffee. Um, lovely night's sleep, the topper on this bed, hallelujah. Um, very calm seas as we made our way from Cape Canaveral down to the Bahamas. Let's do this. On Morella, the newsletter you'll get delivered to your cabin each day is called Cruise News. Oh my goodness, I love a newsletter. 
This very handy document will have arrival and departure times at your ports. A little bit of information, as you can see, we are going to Freeport Bahamas today. Something about the performances, port info, weather. Oh, look, sunny skies and 30 degrees. Let's hope that's true. Opening and closing times of all the venues on board. What to drink? Oh my goodness, we'll be checking those out today, I'm telling you. And then, of course, your daily program. Ah, meet the team, Captain Chris Douglas. You can even contact reception and have your own personalized messages in this one. How lovely is that? And finally, all the entertainment on board throughout the day and evening. Ta da! Alrighty, we are heading to Islands Buffet for our breakfast. Opens at half six. We are currently on deck 10 and the sun is about to rise very very excited now that i've gotten over yesterday's trauma of travel and tiredness just having a stroll around the front of the ship and lo and behold that's island's buffet down there all getting ready for us you better have a lot of food because we are hungry i love that you can walk all the way around the front of the ship everyone is getting ready for sailing into freeport bahamas Alrighty, it's time for Island's Buffet. Now they've got an outdoor seating area here, by the way, which has got teas, coffees, uh, water, and juice. Yep, we are there on the nose. Here we are. Forward facing views as well. Awesome. Good air con in here. Oh, look at these. They're like little Jamie sized chairs with the best views. I like this a lot. It reminds me of um, Piano Oceana in a day with their buffet, with their surround views like this. It's great. A good space, definitely. I love all the glass panels around the front and up there as well. Oh, Jogger, what are you doing? Going around and round and round and round. So you have your usual breakfast items. We've got muffins and pastries, Danish. We've got lots of different types of breads and rolls. And of course, you've got scrambled fried boiled eggs. We've got our baked beans, fat bacon, pork sausage, fried bread. Oh my God, fried bread. Breakfast potatoes, sausage and bacon and pancakes, everything you could need. They've also got an omelet station here and they give you a buzzer, which is a brilliant idea. No waiting around. It's time to collect it. And there you go. You've got a choice of plain mixed ham, cheese, onion, tomato, pepper, mushroom, and they get made fresh here. Happy days. Welcome to Freeport, Bahamas. This is the most northerly isle and the biggest. Oh, look out, there's a senor frogs over there. Uh oh, we know what that means. Shot, shot, shot. Right, my loves, we are heading ashore via the atrium. Haven't been in here yet. Grand, shiny, lots of spots for good pictures up there as well, look, awesome. One of the great things about the TUI Navigate app is that it provides you with plenty of information about each port of call. It even has a handy map of your destination. Yeah. Right, we're going to zap out. Thank you. And ashore we go. Our beautiful Morella Discovery. Now, Matthew and I are on an organized excursion. I say excursion, it's literally a transfer to a, um, a hotel and beach resort called the Lucayan Resort, about 20 minutes from here. We've only got uh, about two and a half hours there. It's a very short stop here in the Bahamas. Directly in front of the ship, you've got, uh, well, a Bahamian village, I suppose. All sorts of uh, bars, souvenir shops, etc. But we are going to get on our shuttle. Oh no, that's the kind of transfer I'm talking about, yes! <laughs> Welcome to the Lucayan Resort and Beach. So the transfer took 20 minutes. Listen, it's £46 per adult. Um, there's only two excursions available from Freeport. You can stay on the ship or go to the village. Uh, there's no beach in the vicinity. It's a working port. So we felt this would be uh, the best of both worlds. There you go. We have our wristbands to show that we are indeed a member of this hotel, even if it's only for two and a half hours. Oh, look at that pool, an infinity pool. That's awesome. And we've got a hot tub over here as well. Oh, 
That sand is so cooling and soft. Happy days! Woo! So as a, an honorary member of the Lucayan Resort, you get to use all of its facilities. Uh, not sure when that bar's gonna open, but damn it, I quite fancy a rum or something right now. I think um, Ocean Swim to begin with. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, heaven, don't wanna leave. Very rarely see Matthew in the sea. I've seen it, I think, once in the last year. Here he goes. Woohoo! Feeling a little bit smug right now. Sorry. Gorgeous. <laughs> Matthew, it, oh my God, what is he doing? Do you think this is worth 46 pound? Oh, yeah. He said, yeah. I was a bit dubious actually, because it's quite a lot, isn't it? But actually it's beautiful. Oh, that is gorgeous. Thank you to the families who've said hello so far this morning. They don't want to appear on the vlog. I don't know if it's because they're half naked or something, but they're like, oh no, I couldn't possibly. Oh, Hellfire, Waves Bar is opening. Oh my God, I so want a free cocktail. I don't care that it's the morning. Pool time and the water is a delight. Beautiful. Definitely worse ways to spend a Monday, wouldn't you agree? Oh yeah. Bar's open, but we're very fortunate in that someone's walking around taking orders and delivering to your lounger. It ain't waiting in line. Oh, drink. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Mango daiquiri. Oh, 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 oh rum. <laughs> and time to get back on board. Short but very, very sweet stop in Freeport, Bahamas. Oh, look. Halo. That's totally me. Listen, if you're thinking to yourselves, wow, four hours in the Bahamas doesn't seem very long at all, you are correct. There is a reason for this, however. Well, two reasons. First of all, we have to uh, make a runner for New York. It's a long way from here. Um, but the most important reason is that any cruising from the US has to dock in another country. It's law. Um, Captain Chris keeps saying if we want to stop in a different country, he'd be in a lot of trouble. And we don't want that, do we? and hence a short stop in the Bahamas, but it's better than no stop. Absolutely loved it here. Uh, make sure you do one of the excursions, however. Um, difficult to get taxis around here. In fact, I only saw one, well, maybe uh, just an off day. Um, and you don't want to stay in the working port for the whole morning. Go and do something nice. Alrighty, we have lifts to the forward of the ship and also just past midship. All right, let's get on deck. Open. Oh, holy shawarma, it's hot. Everything, of course, is all linked here, or premium all linked. So at this outdoor bar, you can literally help yourself to cans of um, lager and cider. They've also got uh, your all linked cocktails made up here for convenience. Alrighty, next stop, New York. Right now, earlier, you might remember I was complaining one night, I was in the ocean, the Bahamian Ocean, saying that no one wants to say hello uh, on this vlog. However, you are... Hi, I'm Steve. Hi, Steve. And um, I think we know each other from Twitter and... Twitter mostly, I, yeah, first time cruiser, so I've been uh, sort of uh, stalking you on socials. Oh, fantastic. While. And now you're stalking me in, in the flesh. To Thank be, you. To be fair, <laughs> To be fair, I'm going to say you stalked us because yeah. you, you, you set up your sunbed next to mine. So. That is very true. So what is um, the best thing so far about your cruise? Um, well, so far, um, I think it's going to be the friendliness of the people. I mean, you know, the, the guests, the staff. It's a really, really friendly boat, really friendly experience. And so far, we haven't been able to sample much, but food's good, drink's good, weather's fantastic. Uh, yeah, so yeah, it's got to well, thank you so much, and I hope you have a great week ahead. Thanks, Andrew. All right, take care, bye. bye. Alrighty, buffet lunch for us. It's kind of like your usual fare, but what I will say is there's quite a lot of vegetarian and vegan options as well. Here's a look at a typical lunch menu at Island's Buffet. 
you'll notice that gluten-free, vegetarian and vegan dishes are clearly indicated as such. Alrighty, we are now at the coffee port. This is um, speciality, so everything is on the All Inc premium here. If you aren't premium, you're gonna need to pay a small supplement for um, some of the drinks. Uh, we've got ice creams here, and also lots of pastries, chocolates. Looks really good. It's also wrapped around the atrium, um, so it's a really good location. There you go, seating all around the outside. Awesome. All right, so this is great. I've just gone and got a coffee and came back and Matthew's obviously very famous because, <laughs> what's your name? My name's James. Yeah, I thought it was Jack, didn't I, to begin with? Yeah, yeah, unfortunately so. <laughs> I get so, that a lot. Yeah, but, so you tell me this is your first cruise, correct? It is absolutely correct, yeah. Yeah, all right. And you've been on here a week already? We've been a week already. So where have you been? Uh, so we've been to Dominican Republic, we've been to uh, Turks and Caicos, then it was Key West and then Miami. Yeah, I'm completely jealous of that. I want to go to Key West. Uh, what's been your highlight so far? Uh, definitely Key West, I think. Oh. That was beautiful, really hot and nice. Uh, uh, I think this, this ship has been quite exciting for us anyway. Uh, yeah. It's been quite the experience and all the staff are lovely on there. So <clears throat> we're definitely going to be doing cruising again in future. Oh, that's it's good been, news. It's beautiful. And everyone who's um, said hello so far, they've all said the same thing about the crew being awesome. So yeah. thank you, Morella crew. Well, I hope you have a great remainder of your week. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you for appearing. I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> always nice to uh, uh, a nice YouTuber. So. <laughs> Yay. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> thank you. See you later. Cheers, everybody. Ice coffee time. By the way, how funny that somebody recognized Mafu. Mafu was like, oh no, someone recognizes me. Can they talk to me? Anyway, can I just say this ice coffee is delish. 100% um, approval rating from Travel Bob, Jamie. Mm -hmm. Here's a look at the coffee port menu for your speciality beverages. Now then, if you are a premium All Ink, it's all included. If you're just all ink, then you'll see the supplements to the right. Not too bad. Uh-oh, Matthew has spotted the shops. Look out. Good to know. We've got essentials here. Oh, and nibbles. I don't have nibbles yet. A few garments. Um, oh, look at that. I'm a fan of this T-shirt. Mm, some nice super dry clothes here as well. I think these shops have had a bit of an upgrade since I was last on board. I always struggle coming into one of these without buying something. I thought we'd chill out on, on deck for a bit. There's a beautiful warm breeze here. A bit shaded. Here's someone who's a bit shady. Reasonably shady. Alrighty, so the veranda is at the aft and it's adults only. Cute little pods there. You want to see how busy the main pool is on a sea day? Let's go! Holy Maca Blimmin Roni! What I will say is that there are still loungers available. Thank goodness! Time to go back to coffee port and get a nice coffee. Might go down to cabin to chill out for a little bit. Nice coffee to go. Oh yes! You're right over there, Matthew. Yeah, you. Yeah. Have you had a nice day so far, Matthew? Yes. Yeah. Anything else to add? No. I'm going to add something else if you're not. <laughs> yeah, you can roll your eyes. Look, on the TV screen in your cabin, it shows you the pool deck. So I can see there's hardly anybody in the pool now. And that means, yes, I'm going to run up there. I'm going to dive in. I'm going to get wet. Right. It is 5.40 p.m. And... You know, people are clearing out. They're getting ready for their dinner. So this is when we are going to head to the pool. Awesome. That's the way to do it. Dip your feet, lay in it, jump in it. Do what you want. Look at that, the, the Matthew is straight in. That's super warm water. Very nice. Uh, salt water, by the way, in case you get a mouthful and wonder why it tastes like that it's salt water how cool is that for the kids awesome right we have showered and we are heading to bar 11 so called because it's on deck you guessed it eight i mean 11. here we are love this bar surround views perfecto 
This is where you'll also find some speciality dining. So you've got the surf and turf there. We have the sushi bar and Korola over this side. We'll be heading to Korola later in the week. Dressed to impress night and we ask, who the hell are you trying to impress? Matthew, who are you trying to impress? No one. So there's a real range, isn't there, in terms of dress tonight. People um, in suits, tuxes, ties, but more commonly, I think actually you've nailed the look. Open collar, trousers or tailored shorts for men, don't you think? Yeah. Too hot. Too, it's way too hot for anything more. So look, as long as you're not in your bikini, you're gonna be fine. And me, I have decided it's tropical night. <laughs> Might I also add, they do sugar-free Red Bull here on the premium or link. I am not premium, but that's fine. I'm going to pay the supplement and I'm going to bloody enjoy it. Here's my food. Oh, there are some very interesting sounding cocktails here at bar 11, including the old smoky cocktails. I like the sound of the chocolate ember. Look at that. Cheers, my food. Here we go again. All right, we got entertainment in the atrium. Buffet for us tonight. I know, I never do this. I like this buffet. And they've got roast turkey, so there. <laughs> We're back. Oh, I love it in Ireland, I must say. Look at all these lovely little lanterns as well. Oh. I've got to say, the bread rolls on board are bloody handsome, my loves. Just a small salad for me to start. Help, 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 darlings. And there's someone serving wine, and that's a good helping. Look at that. Ooh. House. <laughs> nice and chilled. Turkey roast, yes. Here's a look at a typical dinner menu at Island's Buffet Dining. Capitan, Capitan, where should I go? We had no idea where we are, but now we can see. Yeah, we've got a long way to go. Yeah, that's a long way, isn't it? Oh my goodness, look at this. We've got turned down. Take note, piano. Ah, oh, we've got a flower. How cool is that? Oh, look. <laughs> Love it. And? A Morella Cruises chocolate on the pillow. We've got fresh pool towels. Thank you very much for that. Cabin steward or stewardess. Current view outside our cabin. I love being this low down. I've got, oh, spray. <laughs> All righty. So if you watch my channel, you'll know that when we're on a cruise, we like taking nibbles and hiding them in a very, very special place. Wonder what we've got here. Oh my God, there's like four of me. Matthew would have a fit. Right, I've got a very special hiding place. Um, <laughs> here we go, hot and spicy Pringles. You were saying this is actually a really good size port oh, isn't it? Just having a peep at the cruise news for tomorrow. Looks like we've got nice weather ahead. And can I just say, how fabulous is it that a cruise line still does live port talks love them brilliant needed for new york take note again p and o hey excuse me hello are you gonna say good night to everyone no. no i don't know why you're loving rude right sea day tomorrow time for bed Make sure I get the right one. Don't want them to come in waking us up, do we? Good night, everybody. Love to you. Mm. Day three is a sea day. Good morning, everybody. Oh my goodness, I slept well, and I slept till 6.15 a.m. On the second day, being in the US with jet lag, etc. that's a miracle for me. Way to service breakfast. Yeah, I love a bit of that. I'm thinking we might go to a port talk uh, in the Broadway lounge. 
Yeah, find out about New York and immigration. Now, I know some people will give you a really good top hot tip. Take a picture of the cruise news, they'll say, so you've got it on your phone. Well, you don't need to because it's actually on the Navigate app. Just saying. Love this time of morning, 7.35, we're at the coffee port. Some relaxing, chilled music playing in the atrium. Maffle's gone to get me a nice coffee. Happy cruise days. Look at that. A whole cafetiere for Matthew. He'll have the whole lot. And thank you, iced coffee gods and goddesses. Oh, that's a good one. I just want to point out, cabin 6558 is right next to the coffee port. I don't think I'd want that one. That's going to be noisy from 7 a.m. at the latest, actually. it's breakfast time oh i love a sit down breakfast i mean most breakfasts you can sit down actually <laughs> but i like table service breakfast yes we we're just saying literally within seconds of sitting down juice is poured coffee's poured there's just no waiting around fantastic stuff all right let's have a look at this menu what would you have Oh my goodness, look at all the choices for a la carte. Oh, I know I'm going to sound like a scratch record, but Pino don't do the daily specials anymore. And look, Morella win. Thank you very much. Oh, Matthew's got a fruit salad. And look at that traditional cup. I love it. Who needs things chopped up though? Matthew, because he's like a baby, isn't he? <laughs> Slice fruit for me, because you know how healthy I am. Can I get one of the fruit? Oh, that one there yeah, would be the perfect, you yeah. Want this one, sir, or the, I think this is yeah, the, the, the yellow one. The yellow one? <laughs> you want two? Uh, one's perfect, thank you so much. Here you go. I've got a plain omelette, breakfast potatoes, tomato, and some baked beans. Let's have a little peep at this main dining room from the center of stage. Matthew's saying, you can't do that. I'm like, yes, I can. So the upper tier is where you'll find a uh, gallery 47 degrees, which is where they serve Italian food, which is also included in your cruise fare. Ooh, it's scotcho! Again. from the pool yes Morella offers a wide range of shore excursions and many of you out there have been asking to see the sample of these and the costs and who am I to deny you of these little treats so here you are but before you dash off and purchase loads of shore excursions be patient and watch what we got up to in New York it could save you a lot of money I'm looking for Matthew. Well, I am going to bet your bottom dollar he's at the snack shack. Uh, I love it when they do that. You can get your coffees and teas here. There's also a water fountain. The snack shack is conveniently open for breakfast and lunch. Here's a look at the menus. Good range of sandwiches and rolls, fruit pots, Greek salad, tuna niçoise, bit of Asian beef curry tofu dates and clementine caesar dressing lemon vinaigrette dressing good we've got fish and chips chicken wings fries burgers oh and we've got cookies it's captain chris on a north north coast at 20 all knots. Oh, spa raffle. I didn't Sam win. Oh look, this is where I started the day. Oh, how did that get there? Yeah. If you're interested in a full tour and review of our cabin, just search Travel Blog Jamie Morella Discovery Ocean View Cabin. I know you're going to want to find out how many people you can fit in that shower. Alrighty, we have freshened up and it's time to head out for the evening. Goodness knows what lies ahead. Alright, we are starting off the evening in the live room. 
cheeky little vodka, cheeky little Pinot Grigio, cheeky little Matthew. By the way, how awesome is this piano? Look, you can slink around it as well. We do some Mason Jar Signature Cocktails here. So if you are premium or link, they're included. Otherwise, you've got that surcharge of £3.50, not the end of the world. Cheers, Matthew. Third night already. I don't know where the time goes. It's certainly not in the bottom of one of these. And at the entrance slash exit, depends on which uh, way you're coming, you have a small but perfectly formed live casino. Alrighty, it's time for dinner. Through the atrium we go. Follow the Matthew, he knows where we're going. You all wanted an ass shot, didn't you? There you go, you got it. Alrighty, gallery, 47 degrees for our dinner. Italian, included in your cruise fare. Cheers, Matthew, Prosecco. Thank you. Focaccia for me would be great. Thank you very much. Okay, so? I don't eat olives, but I like the look of the balsamic and olive oil. How can you do that? It's like eating an alien's head or egg or something. No? Nice? Hey! That's rude. He's so rude. Mm, that focaccia looks yummy. And there you go. That's the main dining room. And this section over here is the gallery serving the Italian. I love this. Bottomless Prosecco, it just keeps coming and coming and coming. No sooner as I finished, it's topped back up. Here's a look at menu A at gallery 47 degrees. The menu changes midweek. I'll warn you in advance, this meal was probably the most mixed of a whole week. Again, your gluten-free, vegetarian and vegan dishes are all clearly signposted for you. Oh, Matthew's got a couple nipples. Arancini. Tuscan soup for Jamie. Here comes number three. Oh my goodness. Cheers, everybody. I've got to make sure I've got a clear head tomorrow. We're going to New York. We've got a lot on. Ooh. Ooh, number four. Cheers. <laughs> Matthew's lasagna looks good. I'm really disappointed with my um, pappardelle. This is this comes with a supplement and it used to be served in you know a massive vat of parmesan now then here's what the experience used to be like and this is why you paid a supplement that doesn't happen anymore so i don't really understand why you pay extra for it not happy with that one the side of beans fried courgette the salad with parmesan uh, essentially, Matthew has a, a limoncello cheesecake. Okay, and this cheesecake, uh, it's supposed to be a limoncello, and all you can taste is what we both describe as like mature cheddar cheese. It's very odd and not very pleasant. Um, that's supposed to be affogato, but I don't see any coffee. Uh, very odd. So it's kind of like the theater has totally gone from this place. That's not an affogato. And up we go. We're literally running away from 47 degrees gallery. Oh, look who it is up there, look. Beautiful evening. Look, peeping out to sea. Ah, oh, we've just seen dolphins. What an evening. Come on, babies, out you come. Alrighty, we are doing movies under the stars. A bit of Whitney tonight. Two. Back in the cabin, turn down, done, and there's a little dog. So cute. All right, it's time to hit that sack. It's New York, New York tomorrow, folks. Can't wait to show you around. Uh, we've got some amazing things planned. It's going to be awesome. Good night for now. Love to you all. Mwah. It's time for that incredible sailing. Good morning, everyone. It is bucket list day. I can't wait. Let's do this. Starting with a buffet breakfast at Islands. It's 6 a.m. We're up for the sailing. Pancakes, banana, yogurt. We're not 
gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. Oh, look out, Capitan, Capitan. Oh, we made it. Here we go. got a crane on fire. Be safe everybody. Right we are talking up here 90 and blimey that's a close one. <laughs> All right so we have just come to the squid and anchor where we're lining up to get our ticket for disembarkation. When your number is called you go ashore and you have your passports checked every single passenger has to get off and have their passports checked otherwise no one can get back on board imagine being stuck in new york forever and ever and ever well, that sailing was definitely up there with venice at the time when you could actually sail the grand canal and san francisco just stunning bucket list Iced, iced coffee. Bim, 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 bim. Just waiting for our number to be called, but so far they've gone through 800 passengers in about 20 minutes, so going really well. To ask passengers holding ticket numbers up to 1200 to make your way to the gangway to disembark the ship. That was really using quick. Alrighty, time to have our passports checked. So far, this has been very well organized. I thought it was going to be extremely chaotic and it hasn't been at all. In fact, we didn't actually have to show our passports at all. That was super easy. So if you're worried about the immigration process here in New York, no need to be. Alrighty, directly opposite the cruise terminal, you have West 50th Street. We are heading down that street for about 25 minutes and we'll arrive at the Rockefeller Center. We are going to the top of the rock for the best views. Welcome to the Rockefeller Center. Now I know this building doesn't necessarily look much and you might wonder why we're going up here instead of the Empire State. Well, first of all, it's about $40 each and you're gonna get amazing views up there, I promise you. Trust me on this one. It's also less busy. And up we go. Oh, this is fast. My ears are popping already. My legs are starting to get jelly like. <laughs> I don't like heights. Why am I here? Naughty. I should mention that everything we do in New York is booked. I should mention everything we are doing in New York has been booked by Matthew independently. No ship excursions for us. Holy macaroni. Amazing. Central Park over there. That's where we'll be heading a little bit later. The size of it. How awesome is this? I feel like I might pinch myself for being here. So look folks, you're not going to get views of the Empire State Building like this. Come to Rockefeller. By the way, in relation to Pier 90 in our ship, it's literally behind here. So it took us about 25 minutes to walk here. 
and back down we go. We are at Angelo's Pizzeria. Found it on TripAdvisor, really good reviews. You wanna know how hot it is in New York today and tomorrow? Have a look at this. Oh my goodness, you should see me sweat in that subway. This is why we're here, isn't it, Matthew? <laughs> look at that. This pizza is amazing. Balls, by the way, it's absolutely stupidly delicious. And just like that, all that hustle and bustle, gone. Hey baby, you all right? Alrighty, back on board we go, just to freshen up for an evening cruise, oh yeah. Alrighty, we are off on a Harbour Light evening cruise. We booked this independently and it cost us £40 per person. If you were to book this with TUI, then it's going to cost you £58 per person. I know they won't thank me for that, uh, but it's really important you know, you can do any of the tours and excursions yourself independently and it's going to cost you a lot less. Well this is not too shabby a walk, uh, essentially when you get off the ship and exit the cruise terminal you turn right and then you're walking along the river for about 10 to 15 minutes and you'll then arrive at your destination for your evening cruise. And there you go, Circle Line, America's favourite boat ride. Is that true, American friends? How exciting. So this evening cruise lasts about two hours. You can board 45 minutes in advance. Circle Line Bronx. I think this is the one. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Hopefully we'll get a nice outdoor seat. That was super easy, wasn't it, Matthew? Yeah. Who, who booked it? Who booked it? And whose idea was it? Jay. Lady on the boat. No, it was my idea. You recognise that ship over there? That, that until certain technology Antarctic, that never frees. Like the North American continent. Because now... You'll be pleased to know there is a snack bar on board and very good aircon inside. And there you have the Circle Line Evening Harbour Lights Cruise. Um, if you want to see New York from a very different perspective, then that is the cruise for you. Enjoyed that. Dinner time. Oh my goodness. Mexican with a lot of noise. Guacamole with extra spice. Well, that was the rooftop cantina and it's literally on the same road as the cruise terminal. So that's very convenient. Uh, probably the loudest restaurant I have ever, ever been to in my life. But colorful, the food was good actually. Um, a little bit pricey though. We're nearly back. Well, I never thought I'd ever say this. I'm actually really looking forward to getting back on a cruise ship for some peace and quiet. What a long, fabulous, crazy, bonkers day. And I actually think tomorrow is gonna to be even longer. Oh, yes. Come on, admit it. You love a turn down after a long day out, don't you folks? Go on. Alrighty, it's late. These eyes don't lie today. I'm really sorry for not showing you more of the ship today, but as you know, we've been out pretty much all day and evening. Uh, we've got 
day two in New York tomorrow. I can't wait to show you what we're doing tomorrow. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, we'll have sail out, of course, and we are going to Cora La. So make sure you tune in for that one. For now, I am wishing you all splendid times. It's my bedtime. I love you all. Good night. Mwah. Coming up in part two, we continue our tour of the Big Apple, some sobering moments, and plenty of what makes this city so special. We experience sail away from Coralar Speciality Dining, our second sea day, afternoon tea and dinner at the Glass House, our day in Charleston, South Carolina, disembarkation information, one final sunrise, a royal sail in, and our flight home. Thank you everyone for watching and your continued support and shout outs today go to Gaynor, Mike, Sean, Allison, Matt, Stephanie, Alan, Melissa, Liz, Dave, Kelly, KM Cooper, Charles, Kevin, Lisa, Liz, Alan, Paul, Tim, The Travelling Hatter, Sam, Jody and Joe, Paul. Whew, thank you, Jesus.